Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to create this very simple barrel which can be used as a prop in your background. So we're going to start by creating a simple cube. Okay, and I'm going to stretch it to make it longer and a bit thinner. Okay. Now I want to add a lot of divisions because we're going to actually bend this. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose the subdivisions here, and I think that's going to be the width. Okay, so let's add quite a lot. So let's say um, 25. So the more divisions you have, uh, the better smooth the result would be, right? Uh, but at the same time, you should not have really too much. That will also uh, make things difficult for us by adding a lot of divisions, right? So let's select all these guys and I'm going to create a bevel, okay? So that we will have all these uh, corners to be soft. So I'll choose bevel edge there. And I think that's fine. I'll give um, fraction to be 0.3, should be fine. Or maybe 0.4, okay? And we'll have two segments or three segments. I think two is fine. Okay. So good enough. I'm going to make a duplicate of this. Control D. Okay. So let's make that go here. Okay. Uh, very less space between them or maybe even there's no space. It's good enough. No problem. So I'll just keep it as close as possible. Right. And I'm going to make uh, the size of these guys a little bit different. So let's say I'll pull this out a bit just to create some kind of um, uneven appearance right so let's make one more duplicate here control D then push it out and this time I'm gonna keep it much closer here okay and let's make one more and this is going to be um, let me make it even smaller so either I can scale it just with the scale tool that's also one method or we can actually select all these vertices and push them closer now big when I do like this by using the vertices what happens is the proportion of these um, bends that we have in all sides all four sides will remain the same so this is uh, the better choice so let's go to the side view again you can press 4 just to make sure that it's actually touching there or not okay that's perfect so I think that's fine I'll just duplicate this entire thing once again just to have a lot of space Uh, just a quick tip, if, uh, let's say for example, your gizmo is far away from the viewport and you're not able to move it, you can actually use the middle mouse button and move. Okay, so that will actually uh, move the object in the axis that you have selected. As you can see, it's not moving up and down because I've actually selected the um, X, a Z axis and I can just move it just like that. Okay, so I think that's fine. If you want, we can just make one or two more copies. So let's say make one here. I'll select all these guys, okay, um, and press Control G, or we can also go to Edit and choose Group to group them into one object, right? So next thing is we need to actually rotate this 360 degrees to make it. Uh, make this beginning portion touch the end portion here. So let's go ahead and select the group uh, and go to deform uh, nonlinear bend. So let's do this couple of changes here. For x axis, I'm going to give 90, and for z axis, I'm going to give 90. And now I will choose the curvature. So let's choose 180 there. Okay, so that makes a perfect uh, shape that we wanted. Okay, good enough. So now, once we got that, now we need to actually push or uh, rotate this upwards. So when I do that, you'll notice that we have some weird result. This is because of the bend deformer already working on it. So what we need to do is we need to uh, finalize this shape for this um, uh, cylinder, and we don't want this bend deformer to affect it anymore, right? So for doing that, let's go ahead and select the group. Right? And not notice what happens when I do this. This bin deformer will disappear basically. So if I go to edit and choose 
delete by type history and you'll see that the bin deformer disappears from here and the bin deformer disappears from here so that now what happens is like this object becomes uh, of its own so now I can just select the group and I can just rotate it 90 degrees and well, it does not get affected so let's just bring this up and keep him like so I can also go to modify and choose center pivot so that the pivot comes to the middle and I can actually snap it to the center now I like to keep uh, the grid as the ground plane so I always keep the objects just about that and we can also go to the top view press X and snap it to the center keeping the objects in the center makes things a little easier for us when we do editing right so now uh, we need to apply one more deformer so again we'll select the group and we'll go to uh, deform nonlinear and there it is flare so if I apply flare now what happens is uh, because of the rotation that we had we have some weird um, result so we can actually rotate this pen deformer also so let's go ahead and choose the rotation this is Z axis so let's give 90 degrees so zero okay, there it is and then we need to apply the curvature so if I just choose the curvature I can either bend him inwards or outwards so outwards is what we actually want so once we got that result we're fine we're good to go let's select the group go to edit delete by type history so we actually lose that bend deformer also okay so notice uh, these divisions actually make this smoothness here so if you have um, if you have not added these divisions it will not make this bend okay so make sure that you add the divisions when you're creating your shape in the beginning itself right now you can also you could have also added more divisions this way so that it would have made it a bit more softer but that won't make it look like the wood this uh, looks much better as a piece of wood right so once that is done we just need to add some little uh, fine tuning here so I'll go ahead and choose pipe here so let's choose pipe and bring it up okay and let's just make this bigger okay and we want to reduce the thickness and we want to reduce the height okay uh, let me just make this radius a bit more smaller 0.8 no 2.7 2.6 okay and maybe the thickness I'll make it 0 0.2 Okay. Now we can also make for the tweaks here, so let's go ahead and choose these guys. Vertex. Pull it down a bit. And make it a bit bigger. Make these guys a bit smaller. Okay. And I can also go to select this face, double click on this to select all these other faces, just push it down like so that's perfect that's exactly the result that I wanted I'll make the entire uh, object to be a bit more bigger okay now one other thing that I want to do is I want to give a bevel here so let's select all these guys just to give a little uh, sharpness on the corners so I'll select okay all those four edge loops okay not this one okay I'll apply bevel edge we'll give point or 0.3 let's check how that looks by pressing 5 okay 0.3 should be fine I guess 0.3 and we'll give uh, two segments so this looks like some kind of a ring that's uh, actually covering it press 3 uh, this is good okay so now we can actually make a duplicate of the same uh, by pressing Control D, so we get a duplicate, and I want to bring the duplicate down here, but I also want to bring it um, flipped upside down. So uh, one thing that I can do is I can simply rotate it to flip it, or we can also give uh, scale Y to be minus. So if I, if I give minus here, you can see that it flips down like so. I can just bring it all the way down here, and I'll check from here that's it. So I've made two of them. 
right? Now, if you want, you can actually make one right in the middle. Let's do that just to hold it better, right? So let's go ahead and select these guys and make him bigger at the same time, make him shorter at the top, right? So let's select this top area. I'll have to press one here, okay? And bring them closer like so. Okay, so one last thing that I want to do is I want to select these top ones and select this inside, guys, and pull them down. Okay, maybe I'll make the entire uh, shape a bit taller. Okay, now if you want, we can also add more divisions right in the middle. Um, just to make a bit more softer result, okay? So what I'll do is I'll select one edge, press up arrow two times so it actually selects this edge ring. I'll go ahead and shift right click and choose connect components. What it does is it adds an extra division here, so let's just scale that out. Make it bigger. Double click this one, make him a little bigger. Okay, so now if we smooth it, it should look nice. Okay, so now we can actually add a cap up here. So again, I can actually duplicate this guy or we'll create it fresh. It's much better. So I'll use a cylinder here make it flat um, let's go ahead and change the cap divisions to be zero make it bigger let's make it 25 let's say 40 to make it more smooth Go ahead and select scale tool. Okay, perfect. So now I'll just select this middle portion, press shift, extrude face, make it smaller. We can actually check from the top view about how much we want to make it smaller. So we need to make sure that it's actually inside all these different pieces that we have, right? So now I'll have to do one more extrude. This time I will push it in. So let's you can actually go a little bit more inside, no problem, because we'll put some other objects on top of this uh, to create that final result. And I can actually delete the one that is inside, no problem. Okay, good. Um, just to create that final result, I'll actually do a little extrude to make it bring to the center. Okay, now we want to add more divisions here, so what I can do is just double click that, double click this, and double click on this, okay? So let's go ahead and choose um, bevel edge here. Let's give 0.3, and we'll add 2 here, should be fine, press 3, and we get that result, good. So now one last thing that we can do is we can actually add some wooden appearance here. So let's go ahead and choose another cube here. Okay. Push it up. Make it smaller, make it longer here. And part of it can actually go inside, so it's fine, like so. So let's select this edge, this edge, and this and this edge. Let's give a bevel here. 0.3, two segments. And now what we can do is we can actually make a duplicate of this. Control D. That duplicate is going to go this side. One more duplicate, one more duplicate. And we need to make duplicates in the other sides. So what I can do is I can actually select these three, control D, and just push them 
all the way to the other side. Okay, so now you can see that it looks much like a wooden uh, cap, and we need to fix these um, ones that are showing outside. So let's select this guy and choose vertex. Select these vertices. Actually, we can select both of these and scale them closer. Okay, uh, as long as it is going inside and not visible, that should be fine. Okay, and the next one also, vertex, select this one, select this one, choose that, that's it. And we'll have to do the same thing here. So let's select these, make it smaller until it goes in, select these, make it smaller until it goes in, select these, make it smaller until it goes in, that's perfect. Okay, so now what we can do is we can actually make a duplicate of the same guy and pr push him down here. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this one. Okay, so make them all into a group, control G, and now I can just make a duplicate of that and we can actually rotate him 300, sorry, 180 degrees. So that brings it down and I can push him up. So let's pull it up, and there we go. So close the top, close the bottom, right? Now just for fancifying things, we can actually add um, more uh, shapes. So I'll just make this divisions to be less, let's say eight. And I want to delete the bottom area here. So let's select all these guys in the bottom and then delete it. And so I should end up with this shape. So let's select it and push it up and rotate it 90 degrees. You don't have to do it from inside, you can actually bring it out and then do it, so no problem. So let's push it out, press 5, make it smaller. Okay, so let's just bring him like so. Okay, just to make sure that it's touching there, right? So I need to change the pivot point by pressing insert key and just bring it to the center so that we can actually duplicate um, with rotation. So we'll do that and press control D. Use the E key to get the rotation there. So let's just push it all the way here. Press shift to D, shift to D, and then shift to D, shift to D. And you can actually add as many as you want. So I think that should be fine. Duplicate that and we can actually bring it all the way up here, right? Select the vertex, push all these vertices inside. For these guys, we can actually make him a bit smaller. Okay, and we'll give a little bit of rotation here to make him just in the exact shape that we wanted. Okay. Perfect. So let's select it. And now we're going to duplicate Control D, rotate it like so. Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, and there you go. Okay. And we can actually select all these guys and we can make a duplicate down uh, for these other guys. So let's select like so. And then I'll press Control and select these ones that we don't want, these ones that we don't want, and all these ones that we don't want. Okay, so control G to make it as a group. Okay, and we can actually make a duplicate control D and we can actually flip it 180 degrees and pull it up all the way to make it fit there. Modify center pivot so the pivot point comes down. Now this makes things easier for us to place him. Okay, so this completes the video of creating a simple barrel which can be used as a prop. Thank you.